We're talking with a couple of the internet's kind of funny best friends to find out who are the bestest best friends in the Marvel Universe. Hi, I'm moderately funny Ryan Panagos, aka Agent M, and I'm at Kinda Funny headquarters in San Francisco with uh, some of the internet's best friends. How y'all doing? We're good. How are you, Ryan? Doing very well. We got Greg Miller, Nick Scarpino from Kinda Funny. It's very exciting. Uh, I watch and listen to you guys all the time. Obviously, you guys are best friends. You are uh, best friend experts. Sure. So you have a show called We Have Cool Friends. We do. You're coming on it. I am. Uh, so what I wanted to do, I want to play a game here on Earth's Mightiest Show, a little bit about best friends in the Marvel Universe. Uh, we, we picked a couple of best friend pairs, and I would love it if you two ranked these pairs. Ooh, right. ooh in review okay. mixed I with like best it. friends. I like yeah. This. We're going to start with uh, one of the oldest pairs of best friends. Right. We've got Captain America and Bucky. And Bucky. Steven Bucky, come on. Are you kidding there me? Close your eyes, clear your mind. Yeah. Who are best friends in the Marvel Universe? You would immediately jump to these, right? Because it was that idea that bonded them together from so long. What the movies got so right was showing that relationship go from him looking up to Bucky, seeing you know Bucky be that GI that he wanted to be so badly, and then him surpassing him in such an interesting way, but still having that friendship. Yeah, and you see, I mean, you see it perfectly in Endgame, right? Where where he's fighting himself, and the only thing that he can break his concentration with yep. is telling him that Bucky's still alive. Yeah. Next up, we have Captain Marvel and mm -hmm. Spider Woman. Carol Danvers, Jessica Drew. They have been through so much together. Very true. I remember Spider Woman, right? I remember when she got pregnant and they started telling that story, that's when I jumped back in, and that's really when you saw her support network mm -hmm. come out, and Carol be a big part of that. So they're great. Would you say they're, they're now still below? Oh, Steven? yeah, come on. Okay. Am I wrong here? I mean, I, I, the way you just put it, no, you're, you're spot on. Okay, there you go. Thanks, Perfect. buddy. All right, now Ooh. Yeah, we have, a, we have a big pair. Interesting. This is Professor Xavier mm -hmm. and Magneto, mm -hmm. uh, and, and I think, you know, the, what they've been through over years and now where we are in the in the comics universe particularly sure. seeing like they are united in a way that they've never been it's a really powerful friendship sure is it better than Steve and Bucky uh, that's why this is why you're here you're I the experts I would say it's way more Interesting. Okay, fair. The fact that they're such good friends allows for the tension. Yeah. The fact that they're such good friends allows for the heightened drama when they do disagree with each other. And what I think is so is so great about you know when when that relationship is well written is that you see that they have these commonalities, but it's just on the outskirts of where they disagree, yeah, where yeah, that yeah. drama lies. And I think that's such an awesome opportunity, especially from a, for a writer. I agree that it's an interesting uh, dynamic. Where are you putting them? Number two, number three. Number two, number three. I gotta put him number two. Okay. Okay. I agree. It's, right. it's, it's such that. a yeah. diverse uh, relationship. There's been so many things that have happened, and again, right now, it's everything's happening. We gotta talk complex. about that on Comic Book Club. Oh, we will. Yeah. All right. Power Man and Iron Fist, Luke Cage, Danny Rand, amazing characters. They've been through a lot. They have a company together, which I imagine that brings a lot of tension to a friendship, and yet they are still, <laughs> but yet they still persevere, and they are maybe closer than ever at this point. Meh. Yeah. You know what I mean? Man. Wow. Like it's like what, what, what here's the thing. Have? I thought when, if you would have told me, hey, we're doing the, we're doing this best friend thing. I'm gonna put up Luke Cage, right? I'm like, oh, he'll be with Jessica, his wife. You know what I mean? Let's keep it going. <laughs> where, do, where do they rank in in our order? order? Dead last. Wow, they are yeah. number four right now. Carol and Jessica are way more interesting. Rocket and Groot. Here's what we're saying here. Yeah. Don't one, get crazy one for with the it. ages. Of one course. For the ages. In some instances, only Rocket can understand Groot. Exactly. Groot always understands Rocket. It's just like us. I exactly. always understand you. Yeah. You never understand. You're my furry phone. little friend. <laughs> Climbing on me all the time. You know what I mean? I got a lot of anger. I got a lot of rage. I'm not good at making stuff, though. That's a great friendship right yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Like another one, they've been through a lot together, right? Mm -hmm. But unlike Magneto, Professor X, they never lose sight of each other. They never lose sight of the love they have for one another, Ryan. I mean, know? if you want to talk about real friendship, right? Yeah. Let's let's let me put a hypothetical out for you. Nick, put out a hypothetical. Greg for me. Miller dies in a hilarious. I don't but, like this hypothetical. Fiery crash. It, but it's hilarious, and we can't stop laughing about it. And then, but all that's left is his finger, from which a mini Greg Miller forms. And I think to myself, do I take it upon myself to take care of this kid and raise him as my own? and never tell him that his, that his real dad slash clone dad died in a fiery death. Yes, I do, because of loyalty. Because I'm loyal. That's friendship. Right, that we should be that's number friendship. one friendship in the Marvel Universe for saying that. Not, that's not the game. Not the game? Okay. So where do they go? Oh, I gotta put them at number, what do we have? Okay. Cat Bucky at number one. Mm -hmm. uh, Magneto, mm -hmm. Professor X number yeah. two. Then it was... Uh, Carol. Carol. I'm Carol. Carol Danvers. This is why we're friends. Yes. And Jessica, number yeah. three. And then, yeah, just well, four. terrible yeah. Iron Fist. And I mean, I'd put these at three and bump down 
You're Carolyn yeah. Chester knocking down. Yeah. I think there's an argument that they get number two. I could see that. Because I think it's just the fact that Magneto and Charles are pulling up. They're apart, not real right? friends. Exactly. You know? Yeah. They're, they're like, like you that. and Tim. They're like, exactly. Uh, exactly. All right. Yeah, they're number two. They're number two. Okay. Now we have a best friend rankings. Uh, thank you guys so much for helping us figure that out. You guys can check out everything that these two are doing and many more. You have a wonderful crew here. Yeah. Uh, Kindoffunny.com and, and everywhere else. Uh, anything specific you want to plug? I think for you guys, the best thing would be uh, in review. You can check out the whole MCU uh, in review rankings on podcast services around the globe. Just search for kind of funny in review. It's really fun. I agree. And I'll be on We Have Cool Friends real soon. Thanks for watching Earth's Mightiest Show. If you like this, please like this. Leave us a comment and subscribe to the Marvel Channel. Then ding that bell to get updates about new episodes or click that box over there to watch our last episode. All right, so were there any best friends that I missed on the list? Spider-Man, Human Torch. Well, they're number one now. Yay!